Hello everyone, back to tuning in today's second video. We're going to have a look at Metro France, DWD, ECWF and also JMA. Uh, see the models for today's uh, second video. So yeah, we're at the Copernicus.eu and we're going to look at four long range models uh, for the next uh, three trimester periods. It will take us through the full winter period. And, uh, and it's going to be absolutely fantastic. We're going to look at mean cell pressure anomalies, temperature anomalies and also... Uh, precipitation anomalies as well with these three models for the next uh, three trimodal periods. It's going to be fantastic. So I shall get on with, get on, get on with that for you very shortly. Uh, just to say that the first video released today was the uh, eighth winter 2020 update part one. So yes, once again, another winter update on this Sunday uh, for you. Looking at things like sea surface temperature anomalies, what's going on with ENSO. And also a big focus this week on uh, Eurasian snow cover, going all the way back to 1960s. Uh, can you believe uh, with uh, Eurasian snow cover? So uh, it's a very interesting watch. The video is uh, on the YouTube channel and also on the homepage at Galsweb. It's right now. We placed on Winter Updates page later on this evening at Galsweb.com with a written summary. Uh, as well. Uh, we've got a Christmas update uh, coming up very shortly. If it hasn't yet been released, uh, but it will be released very, very shortly. So that will be the fourth and final written uh, update for Christmas ahead of video updates of Christmas starting one week today. So one week today, 1st of November, will be uh, when the first um, video update for Christmas uh, gets underway. So that's going to be absolutely fantastic. And we're going to be live streaming uh, from 6 o'clock tonight uh, as well. So have our live stream, we'll check in, we'll see how we're all doing, and uh, and uh, we're going to show you CFS V2 data for winter 2000 and 2021 in that live stream as well, it's going to be absolutely brilliant, and uh, yeah, I shall see you live at uh, 6 o'clock. Okay, so let's get on with this one's ECWF, Metro France, D2D, and now also added into Mix GMA uh, seasonal update. We're going to begin with Metro France mean sea level pressure anomaly. So here we go. This is Metro France uh, mean sea level pressure anomaly for November, December, January. Look at that. We've got an area of high pressure sitting out to our west, and we'll be bringing in the wind from a west to northwesterly direction. So Reasonably anticyclonic, high pressures out to our west should be a reasonable amount of dry weather, but probably a bit on the cool side. The uh, next tri monthly period is going to be covering, uh, will be covering December, January, February. Um, so with this one, we start to take high pressure away from us. We lower pressure in the normal latitudes. We've also got some higher pressure building over uh, Scandinavia. It looks like we're probably returning to a little bit, of a, little bit more of a westerly flow there. Maybe just started to um, a little bit more unsettled from off the Atlantic. And then the uh, final trimester period is for January, February, March into the latter part of winter, uh, of course. And again, continue to lower the heights up to the north. So polar vortex is uh, developing to our north. Higher pressure pulling back towards the uh, eastern uh, coast of America and into uh, the, the uh, west of the Atlantic. And again, we've got some higher pressure away to our northeast. So obviously we're trying to re-establish uh, a westerly flow here, but at the same time, high pressure to the east is probably trying to bring winds in from an easy direction. So maybe that might be a little bit of a background UK type uh, pattern. Right, that's me cell pressures from Metro France. Let's have a look at temperature anomalies then. So here we go, this is temperature anomaly for uh, Europe for November, December, January. So uh, we see in many parts of Western Europe around average to a little bit on the cool side perhaps in Western Europe, Eastern Europe generally looking uh, a little bit warmer than average. So a bit warmer than average in the, uh, in the East average sort of uh, precipitation out in the west. Let's have an average temperature, I should say, out in the west. This is a temperature on the full winter of 2020-21, December, January, February from Metro France. Again, east-west split, eastern uh, Europe, uh, looking generally warmer than average by, on a scale around one degree out in the west, though, uh, we've got temperature anomalies very close to average, all with no signal, I suppose. 
And then the last try that appeared is for January, February, March. And again, that one showing an east-west split too. So again, uh, much of Scandinavia and eastern Europe, a little bit warmer than average. Western Europe, close to average or having no seal. It looks relatively coolish, I have to say, out in Western Europe. Remember, these models are generally quite biased uh, above average temperatures. So, so if there's no signal or it's average in in any particular place, and that's relatively cool for these line shots. They don't often show uh, warm with an average condition. Uh, this is how precipitation normally is looking from uh, Metro France for November, December, January. Lots of white going on here, lots of no signal. A bit wetter than average around Baltic Sea. Otherwise, again, very, very little to go. It is a bit dry and average around Spain and Portugal. Precipitation normally for the winter of 2020 21 itself from Metro France looks like that. Again, nothing really to be able to forecast with for that. So uh, there's not enough there to be able to issue a forecast. By the time you get through to January, February, March, that's going a little bit drier across some central western parts of Europe through here. Might be a bit indicative of some higher pressure, but again, very, very weak signals for precipitation. This is how the ECMWF is looking. So ECMWF, uh, uh, mean cell pressure only for November, September, January, looks like that. It has high pressure just out to our west and also going towards Greenland to some degree. So this is probably sending the jet stream on a northwest southeast alignment and at the very least could be bringing cold snaps. That could be bringing cold snaps from the northwest to possibly the north at times. Uh, through the early part of winter, November, December, uh, January. Let's have a look at winter of 2020-2021 itself. Is it December, January, February? Very little change, uh, really. That area of high pressure might just be a little bit further south in the North Atlantic, but still generally the jet stream looks like it's lined up north and southeast. So again, I mean, the Atlantic is blocked off, so it's not going to be overly wet, but there will be areas of low pressure coming into the country with those uh, northwest winds. And again, you could envisage the chance of some colder snaps from the north uh, with the uh, EC, uh, means of pressure anomaly uh, there. And then January, February, March, looks like that. The high pressure begins to slip southwards. So later in winter, high pressure slips southwards. Low pressure about to the north. Winds reverting into more of a westerly flow. So we're going flatter, really, after that northwest-southeast alignment. Uh, in the early part of winter, mid part of winter, late in winter, we go to, to like a west-east alignment. The jet stream uh, goes flatter. And that is probably going to start turning things milder. Temperature anomalies of the ECMWF for uh, early winter, November, December, January. Again, east-west split, many eastern parts of Europe, Scandinavia, down to the east of Europe, looking above average, quite warm, actually, or, or warm and average, uh, like western parts of Russia, around Baltic Sea, one to two degrees above average on the scale. But out in west of the UK, for Ireland, for France, yes, the temperature anomaly is, uh, is only sort of uh, average or has no signal. Uh, they have winter 2021 20, temperature on the itself, so for January, February, again, very similar to uh, Metro France in that most centuries parts of Europe are warmer than average. It looks like it could be cooler uh, out in the west with that northwest southeast alignment of the jet stream. And um, then we go through to January, February, March, late winter. We go through to the latter part of winter. Still really suggesting northwest, southeast line. But over time, those slightly more average temperature anomalies are creeping a little bit further west. However, generally the mildest temperatures are again in the east of the northeast Europe. Out in the west, it does look rather cooler through there. Precipitation anomalies from the ECMDF for early winter look uh, like that for no November, December, January. Looks a little bit drier than average across the western part of Europe. So some higher pressure through here, probably lower pressure is through there. There's the northwest southeast alignment of the jet stream. Wet and average around Scandinavia to Baltic Sea, dry and average out towards the Atlantic. The next uh, precipitation anomaly for December, January, February is looking like that. Uh, again, so weak with the signals of precipitation, as always. It is a little bit wet and average around Scandinavia and Baltic Sea. Otherwise, there is very, very little to go out there for precipitation for this winter. Um, then we've got uh, January, February, March, late winter. Looks like turning more south across northern Europe, becoming, becoming wetter than average through here. Low pressure coming back, dry than average down from Spain and Portugal. It's high pressure down there, and of course this is turning us into a flat westerly flow. 
Uh, right, next up, we've got DWD. So, this album, DWD, uh, means self pressure and normally it's looking for November, 7 January. And look at this, we've got high pressure pretty much over the top of the country for early part of winter. Low pressure is up to the north, jet stream pushed north as well. Looks very anti cyclonic. The next trimet appear with the German model again has high pressure centered pretty much over the top of the country. This is for winter 2020 21 itself, of course. High pressure centered over the country, low pressure is up to North jet stream is pushed northwards uh, as well with that one. And um, the next trial period is for January, February, March. Again, very anti cyclonic signals, high pressure just drifting a little bit further southwards, though. Lower pressure developing all the time up to north winds, going west, south, uh, west, um, uh, southwest to northeasterly, so, so it's westerly jet stream. Looks like it's becoming uh, increasingly mild later on in winter. Temperature anomalies from DWD very much in line with the other two models, so warmer Scandinavia and eastern parts of Europe, no signal or perhaps cooler out to the west. Uh, for November and January, this is uh, September, January, February, winter 2020 itself. So looking mild of an average across the far north and northeast of Europe. Otherwise, again, lots of white, lots of no signal. Uh, and then the last part of winter becomes milder. This is January, February, March, when we see those mild and average temperature is encroaching in across the north of Europe uh, from the northeast. It looks like the latter part of winter with DWD becomes milder. Precipitation anomalies with DWD starting off uh, drier than average away from Scandinavia, most parts of either the UK looking drier than average uh, there early in the winter. Uh, winter 2020 21 itself, December, January, February again is looking drier than uh, average. High pressure dominated. And then uh, late winter, January, February, March, looks like it might be starting to turn a little bit more unsettled. The drier uh, anomalies are pushing away to the southwest, becoming a little bit more unsettled up to the north. And then finally, we've got the JMA. So, yes, now JMA, uh, Japanese Meteorological Agency, season model is included uh, within the Copernicus suite of models. Uh, quite uh, surprising that that's happened. And uh, and so I'm a Jeremy's own website. It's very interesting. I, I do a video, you know, a solo video at some point explaining this. But on the Jeremy's own website, their own seasonal model only seems to go out to this trimonthly period, November, December, January. You cannot see further ahead than that. I don't think on the JMA's own website. And yet on Copernicus, you can go out through the next free trimet period. So you can actually see more from the JMA at copernicus.eu than you can at the JMA's own website, which does seem very, very strange and very bizarre. Um, but anyway, never mind, they've done it. So uh, so let's do it, shall we? Uh, this is the JMA mean cell pressure normally for uh, November 7th, January. Again, it suggests higher pressure over and to the west of the country, trying to ridge up towards green as well, possibly a northwest southeast alignment with the jet stream. The next tri-monthly period is December, January, February, pulling that high pressure further away from us into the Atlantic and moving up towards green and lower pressure through here. This looks like it could be turning quite cold. Winds may be going northwesterly or even northerly during the winter of 2020. 21. And then the next time it is for uh, January, February, March. And this one looks quite interesting too, because most of the other miles, all the other miles we've seen, the other three, are suggesting like a return of westerlies uh, later in the winter. This one doesn't really do that. So the JMA still just has this ridge through the North Atlantic up to green and lower pressure issue here. And you will think at very least there is still probably a northwest southeast alignment to the jet stream with this. And you wouldn't totally rule out the chance of like a northerly influence uh, with this one, with the JMA. So very, very interesting. Uh, temperature anomalies uh, from the JMA look mild than average on November 7th, January across southern Europe. Otherwise, no signal for much of Europe. Cooler than average up here. Let's have a look at temperature anomalies for winter 2020 itself from the JMA. This is it. So, uh, again, uh, this is what we can see. Mild and average across southern and southeastern Europe. It looks like it's probably cooler, though, in the northwest of the north. Maybe might be. 
And then late in the winter, January, February, March is looking like that. So uh, it's going to be mild and average on the eastern side of Europe. Again, average or no signal in the west, possibly with these cool and average temperatures out here, hinting up being cool and average for the far northwest Europe, including the UK and Ireland later in the winter. So not particularly going uh, especially mild late in winter with the JMA. And um, then finally we've got precipitation. So this is the rainfall anomaly. Precipitation anomaly for November, November, December, January. Looks like that. Again, very weak signals. A bit dry on average in the west of Europe. Otherwise, no particular signal. Precipitation anomaly for December, January, February. Looks like that again. Very, very weak signals here for precipitation, as always. Bit wetter than average here. Central bowl of the Med. Driving average up towards Iceland, now into the Atlantic. It's, that's possibly indicative of higher pressure being through there. And that position of high pressure is interesting, because you would think that pulls the wind in from up the north. Um, then we go through to uh, January, February, March. Finally, of the JMA, it looks like this. So again, no no signal really. There's not enough there to be able to form a view one way or the other, although it does look driving average out to our west and northwest, but that's about all we can say. Uh, right, very interesting update then uh, from these four, not three now, but four, uh, seasonal models. I hope you found the video interesting and informative. Please give us a like on video. Let us know in the comments what you think about all of this. Make sure you subscribe to uh, the Gals of his YouTube channel. Uh, we're going to do the second winter 2020 21 seasonal model roundup uh, uh, on Saturday, actually. I think we may premiere that. Stand by for an announcement on the community page in the next day or so. But I've got a feeling we may well premiere. Uh, the second season one around on Saturday, probably on, on Saturday evening, uh, 31st of uh, October, Halloween, of course, Halloween will probably premiere the second season one around for winter 2020 So these four models will be included in that line for all of the other long range models as well. And uh, we'll see what the model consensus is uh, for winter 2020 for only the second time uh this uh, this season so it's going to be great it'll be fantastic and that'll be coming up on saturday either it's just a regular upload but i think we'll probably do a premiere uh for that one on saturday let me know in the comments whether you'd like to see a premiere for the uh second seasonal round of winter 2021 on saturday and talking of winter yes we've got winter update uh for you on the homepage at gas Instagram right now and on the youtube channel it's the eighth winter 2020 21 uh update so it's got all of the usual stuff see so temperature on this so activity and so uh what's happened with hurricane activity over the past week and also it's the eurasian snow cover special uh so so have a look at that and uh, it's absolutely fantastic we've got the uh written fourth and final written update for christmas as well hasn't been released yet it will do very shortly uh and uh, don't forget we're live streaming from six o'clock we'll take loads of questions we'll talk about winter update no doubt this uh this update will come up in the live stream as well and i'm quite sure we will show you winter data probably almost certainly from the cfs v2 this video, though, that's all for now, and thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.